Warren Buffett has a billion dollar bet. If you can exactly match the winning tree of March Madness, you can win a billion dollars from Warren Buffett. So like, it would be pretty cool if AI could help you win a billion dollars from Buffett. All right, so now let's uh, fire up the query and uh, see what model does. Elon Musk spent billions of dollars collecting over 200,000 NVIDIA H1 GPUs to train XAI's newest AI model, Grok3, which just came out a couple hours ago. And you might be wondering what makes Grok so different compared to the other LLMs out there like ChatGPT, Claude, Mistral, and Gemini. Well, imagine if ChatGPT had a rebellious, less politically correct version of itself that's able to talk about current celebrities, give its opinions on actors, as well as any superheroes that other LLMs are not able to talk about due to content moderation. So Grok is basically a less censored version of the other mainstream LLMs out there on the market. And we'll see how Grok 3 actually outperforms some of them and under certain tasks. From tonight's earlier presentation of Grok 3 on XAI, they showed that how on reasoning benchmarks like solving math questions, science questions, as well as doing coding questions, Grok 3 and Grok 3 Mini actually outperforms a lot of its competitors with these types of logical thinking puzzles and is able to use this kind of logical thinking on these benchmarks. And the idea is that Grok is able to then generalize them to lots of situations. For example, on the chatbot arena, the user asks the chatbot questions and it actually compares the outputs of different LLMs, but the user is blind and doesn't know which LLMs correspond to which outputs, so it just scores naturally. And here's Grok compared to the other models outperforming them. Showing Grok's more creative side, in the presentation they showed how Grok is able to make new games combined from old ones, like combining Tetris and Bejeweled to make a brand new game that actually works and plays live. XAI also released a version of Grok separate to XAI Premium called Super Grok that gives you access to Grok 3's more agentic features like Deep Search. For $30 to $40 a month, you get access to Deep Search, which is a next gen search engine that's supposed to be a competitor to Google that helps you save hours of time by essentially searching information for you on the line and doing very deep research. Not to be confused with OpenAI's Deep Research or Perplexity's Deep Research or even DeepSeek. So, how is Grok3 able to do all that? Well, the three main concepts that were used in its training process were the use of synthetic data sets, self-correction mechanisms, and reinforcement learning. So synthetic data sets are basically data sets generated by AI for AI based on real data. The idea is that you want to actually try out the model in a simulated controlled environment, much like how fighter pilots might actually fly a simulated airplane before actually risking someone's life and testing a real plane. So before Grok rolls out to the public, it wants to be able to try its responses on auto-generated data sets to fully test out and stress test how Grok responds under different scenarios. The idea behind self-correction mechanisms is that we want our AI model to be able to double check its work before it actually gives a response. That way we can ensure a much stronger logical consistency as well as reduce the risk of having hallucinations where the model will output factually incorrect information. And at a technical level, the way the model does this is that when it's being fine-tuned or trained, when the model makes mistakes on predicting the wrong value, it can actually go back on its mistakes and look over why it made that mistake. So it can add more data to its prompt to then have a less likelihood of making the same mistake in the future. And the third part of Grok's training comes from reinforcement learning, where the model learns how to make correct outputs and predictions and responses through determining which action or which response gives it the maximum reward. And that's the whole idea behind reinforcement learning. You have different actions you can take based on policies, which you then want to pick the policy that maximizes whatever reward you want. And so what this allows Grok to do is essentially, I mean, in the presentation, they said that it allows Grok to think mathematically from first principles thinking because it's able to determine which actions lead it to the maximum reward, not just the local maximum, but a global maximum. And that's the whole idea that we wanna get. According to Elon and the XAI team, those three concepts are used to improve Grok's training in order to reduce hallucinations. In addition, they said that they used human feedback loops where 
you pretty much just give the human output of Grok and it determines whether or not it's aligned and makes sense and is correct. As well as the use of contextual training where in addition to your prompts and response output data sets, so where you give the model a prompt and then you and you show it what is the correct output, you also give the model not only the prompt but also previous the context to be able to understand the previous chat history behind it. So you'll give it the prompt plus portions of different chat histories in order to make sure that the Grok is correctly using the chat history and it knows what parts of the history to include. So in case the chat history is too long, it knows which parts are useful or not. And these are the main concepts behind how Grok 3 works. And is it, you know, the new best LLM on the block? We don't know. We just have to try out and see how it is in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll fully be able to understand and know Grok's true robustness. And again, you can use Grok 3 right now on XAI Premium, as well as be on the lookout for Super Grok, which XAI is going to release sometime soon. Thanks for watching the video, and if you enjoyed listening to me talk about the newest AI models, I also have videos of me explaining the two DeepSeek models that came out last month, as well as other general AI concepts and applications to them in projects that you can find on the rest of my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you some other time.